Today on Atlanta & Company, we're helping you understand the history and importance behind America's newest federal holiday. First, meet a few of the female driving forces behind Juneteenth and the stories that they're preserving. Then later, find out how you can keep learning all year long. We're exploring some of Atlanta's oldest cultural and historic centers. Atlanta & Company starts right now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Atlanta & Company. I am so happy you're here. Today is June 19th, officially known as Juneteenth. This day became a federal holiday just two short years ago by President Joe Biden. But the 157-year observation has come a long way. Who better to tell the history than a storyteller? She has about 20 years of spoken language experience and had a small but pivotal role in the color purple. Here is Mama Koku. Take it away. When I say the story is story, you say let it fly, let it come. After I say a story is story, don't forget to say let it fly, let it come. A story is story. Ah, oh, now this here is a Juneteenth story. Now if you already know what Juneteenth is, uh -huh, very good, very good for you. But if you don't know what Juneteenth is, I say, y'all, it's all about freedom. Freedom, a beautiful thing. when you can be all that you want to be as long as you don't stop nobody else from going where they want to go, doing what they want to do, or being what they want to be. That's what freedom truly is. Now, oh, here comes the bad, sad part of that story. Oh, picture it. Motherland Africa. All oh, her children were brought over, over the ocean, into the sunset, a place called America. you don't know, I tell you, slavery is a mean thing. Slavery is a evil, wicked thing. I tell children it's like a wicked witch casting spells and, and making pain and anguish and, and sometimes death, y'all. But don't worry. Don't worry, y'all, because that's not the end of the story. Because after 400 years, after 400 long years of enslavement, something happened. What I call the light workers. The light workers came together. They prayed. They worked. They never gave up on faith and hope. And then January 1st, 1863, ha <laughs> ha, freedom. Freedom came to those who were enslaved. Can y'all say freedom? Oh, yes. Oh, but in a place, a space, a place of faith called And they still didn't know. 1865, and they still didn't know. Then a half year later, two and a half year later, it was June. It was June 19th that man came with his soldiers, uh, standing on a high place. All, all of Mother Africa's children around and told them that they were indeed free. Can you say free? <laughs> Some of those stories, 
some of those stories that the enslaved told each other and some of those stories that they told each other after and before enslavement, some of them had to do with freedom. Mm -hmm. One of those stories was about a, a rabbit <laughs> and a fox and how Fox had decided that he was going to eat that rabbit up, y'all. Eat him up. He made a sticky, ooey, gooey baby doll, uh-huh, with molasses and, and honey and, and sap from the sap tree, a little gum-gum. He had put that baby doll in the perfect place and space and hid down in the bushes. Here come Bruh, Bruh Rabbit hopping down the road. He tries to shake that baby doll's hand in a good morning howdy do. But guess what? <laughs> His hand gets stuck and he say, let me go. And he tries to get free, but he gets all tangled up in that sticky, ooey, gooey baby doll made of honey, molasses, and gum gum. Oh, and then that fox comes out of the bushes. He said, I'm going to eat you now. Oh, <laughs> but that rabbit, he thinks fast, quick, and in a hurry. He said, you can eat me. You can stew me. Just don't throw me in that brow patch. Oh, and then when he hear that, that old fox, he holds on to that little rabbit. He shakes him loose, and he throws it in the brow patch. Oh, and when he does, that rabbit, he is happy. That old fox, he looks down, and he sees them eating nuts and berries. He sees him hopping up to the other side, and he say, hey, Bruh Fox, I was born and raised in the Bruh Patch. This is home sweet home. Oh, and then Bruh Rabbit, he disappeared over the hill, and he stopped. He peeked back over. He waved his hind quarter leg, and he say, bye-bye, bye-bye. That fox, he growled. Oh, but that rabbit, he happy. You know why he happy? Cause he done got his freedom, y'all. The rabbit done got his freedom. 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 Mmm. Oh, friends out there, I gotta thank Kim Stream, ah, uh, Brother Sayday, and the Ebony Hillbillies for loaning us their tune. We have the Juneteenth stories continuing. Coming up next, we're taking a look at the multiple ways that you can be a part of history. We're going to dive into the story behind civic season, plus find out about opportunities for your teen or your young adult to do some self-discovery while leaning into the needs of their community. That's coming up.